This is Brian with Gold Arrow Fitness, and this is intermediate workout number nine. All right, so we're just going to start off with a low jog here for the warm up. And just stand up on the balls of your feet, swinging your arms. Nothing too crazy at the start, but we'll. We'll progress and get that good sweat going for our stretch. All right, so you're gonna go up, up, back, back. So left up, left back, left up, left back. Okay, switch feet now, so opposite foot, for me it's my right, right up, right back. Just trying to find a nice little rhythm. <coughs> Three, two, one. Go into the chops, three, and over. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm always pushing off my outside foot. Okay, and you should be going as fast as you can keep control of the movement. This is the warm up, but we're trying to still push it a little bit. Okay, uh, side kicks. Knee up first, follow through with the foot. Speed skaters. So work on your balance and your agility at the same time here as you're getting warmed up. Remember you want to be in control. So don't go so fast that you're unbalanced or you feel like you can't control yourself. Side lunges, so step, deep squat, hips forward on the way up. So squat low, hips forward on the way up. <coughs> Keep your eyes and your shoulders upright. Ollie shuffle. What it looks like from the side. Going with some high knees. Try to get your knees all the way up to your waist. Stay nice and relaxed in your upper body, but still pump the arms. Jumping jacks, extend your arms all the way over your head.
So that's warm up. <clears throat> we'll take a minute before we stretch here. So just don't stand still. Don't sit down. Stay moving. Grab water if you need it. Thirty seconds left till we stretch. <clears throat> okay, so we got about ten seconds, so find your way back to your spot. Start off with a quadricep stretch. So pull one leg back. Stand nice and upright. Don't hunch over. When you stand upright, that'll allow your quadriceps to stretch more. Switch legs. Five more seconds. Okay, moving into hamstrings. A little wider than shoulder width apart with your feet down to one side. <coughs> okay, switch it over to the other side. Throughout this stretch, just keep pushing the envelope a little bit more. You know, don't go, go so far that you'll hurt yourself, but your muscles will be able to stretch a little further at the end of the stretch than they will at the beginning. So don't just pour it down to the middle now. Finish up with a standing groin stretch, pushing out on the inner part of your legs so you feel the stretch right in through here. Alright, so that's it for stretches. We got a minute break and then we'll get into our exercises. So we'll go two minutes on, one minute off, we'll go through that four different times. So eight total minutes of working out left with breaks every two minutes. So not that bad when you look at it like that. Got about 30 seconds till we begin, so if you need a quick drink, grab your, your water and uh, then get back to the spot. So 10 more seconds, get ready to go here. All right, and begin with the rock climber. So you're stretching your arms up all the way over your head while bringing the opposite knee up. I'll turn sideways so you can see what it looks like from the side. short arm it, extend the arms all the way up. Okay, so now we're going to go to a side lunge kick. So lunge, squat, and then kick. Notice how I'm kicking with my outside foot. Down in the plank position, 
What we're going to do is just opposite uh, foot tap. So tap with the right, tap with the left. Notice how my hips are not like way up in the air like this. You want them nice and level about with your shoulders and that will target your core. Okay, next one's called wood choppers. So you're going to sit back, cross your ankles, pretend like you're swinging an axe, chopping wood. Okay, extend your arms all the way up and come down. Nice and high with the hands. Alright. Good job. That's, uh, that's round one. Two more of those. And then we'll finish up with two minutes of an afterburn. So grab water. Try to let your heart rate come down a little. through the break. <coughs> Just don't stand still. Don't let those muscles get tight. Alright, so 10 more seconds. Grab, uh, get back to your spot. Same four exercises, starting with rock climbers. Here we go. Just remember you want to exaggerate everything. Arms are going up nice and high. Knees are coming up high as well. Side lunge kick, so step, squat, kick with the outside foot. Try to get nice and deep with the squat, bring the hips all the way forward on each side. Down into that plank again, tapping the toes. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can keep it. Choppers. <coughs> Cross your ankles, bring the arms up nice and high. Just like you're swinging an axe. Three, two, one, and good. All right, two down, one to go for that set, and then one final set of the afterburn. So grab, uh, grab some water, stay up and moving. Turn those tunes up a little bit more if you're listening to music. Get that little extra motivation. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, we're halfway through the break. So 30 seconds left. <clears throat> Alright, go ahead and get back to your spot. 10 seconds. Same exercises that we just did, starting with rock climbers. <clears throat> and here we go.
knees up, exaggerate the arms. Three, two, one, side lunge kick. So lunge, hips through, and kick. Kicking with the outside foot. Remember as you get more fatigued, try to really bring that focus into your form. It's hard to keep your form when you're fatigued, but just really fight to keep it good. Okay, down uh, to the plank position, toe taps. Remember, don't let the hips get up too high, don't let them sag too low. Try to keep them pretty level. Three, two, one. All right, you got the wood choppers, last set of the wood choppers. So cross your ankles, high with the hands, alternating sides. Ten more seconds. Good. All right, so all we got left is the afterburn. So minute break, then finishing up. Stay moving. <coughs> Halfway through the break. Back to your spot. Start up again. All right, only two minutes to go. Leave it all out there. All right, start with high knees. Swing the arms up on the balls of the feet. sideways so you can see what it's like, just like in the warm-up. Okay, gonna do butt kickers. So bring your heels all the way up, nice and fast as you're pumping the arms. Turn sideways again. Just as fast as you can go, okay? All right, go ahead and get down in the plank position. Gonna do a twisting plank. So, gonna open up, turn your hips and everything, and then opposite side. Be nice and slow and methodical, in control. This is about control, not about speed on this one. Okay, last 30 seconds, just gonna do some push-ups. Try to maintain good form, good posture, get as many as you can. If you absolutely have to go to your knees, that's okay. Try your best not to. Ten seconds. Alright, great job. That was intermediate workout number nine. Make sure to do a cool. Stay hydrated. I'll see you next time. 
Sometimes it just makes sense to work with an expert. Even elite athletes like LeBron James go to personal coaches. A Gold Arrow Fitness Consultant can provide the extra guidance and accountability you need to reach your vision. For more information on fitness consulting, go to goldarrowfitness.com.